Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin Leopard with Higher Hertz. Today I want to talk about another rosin. This time we're talking about Hill Rosin, a very, very dark looking rosin that I've heard is favored by people who like to record. And I like to record, so maybe I'm really gonna like this. I don't have as much familiarity with this rosin, however, I was able to acquire it and I know it has quite a nice reputation. So we're going to talk about it. First, let me just try to get some rosin on the strings. I've recently, you know, wiped it off. So let's just try to get some rosin on the strings so that we're not playing it against, you know, totally no rosin. <laughs> And I would consider my bow pretty freshly rosined at this point, so uh, I wouldn't necessarily think that we need to add a lot, but what I do want to talk about is the tonal contrast of this rosin versus, you know, just whatever kind of is on my bow still from the last couple of days. So what I want to talk about with the Hill Rosin is what does it help you do? You know, I want to play a couple different types of, of music, play with the different rosin, some of them might sound better, some of them might actually sound a little less good. And the thing is, you know, you just don't always know. So it's kind of nice to be able to try out different things, different weather, different climates, even different times of day, uh, it can be nice. So if you're identifying what the problem is, you can fix it with the type of rosin, as long as you know what that rosin is doing. You know, if you're having issues with articulation or if you're having issues with phrasing, even if you're kind of having issues with intonation, sometimes that can actually be um, you know, a tone issue, like if, you're, if your tone's not good, like if your tone's not good, you're really not going to sound in tune regardless of whether you actually are or not. So let's just get a, a baseline sound for this from a few different of the Bach movements. <laughs> Okay, so that should give us a good enough sort of idea of what's going on. Let me add a little bit of a hill rosin, and we just want to listen to what this does to the tone, what it does to the articulations. And this rosin is quite dark, and again, dark rosins are more grippy, so we definitely don't need a lot in this case, but it'll be curious what it does. <laughs> So I loved what that did to the uh, to the uh, to the first Bach excerpt. To the second one, uh, it it was also nice, but I don't know if it was exactly an improvement or not. It was just like a different type of clarity. But man, for the first one, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's so much more resonant. It was really able. At first, it was a little rougher, but, but then I realized that I could sink into the string more. And when I was doing that, it got a lot more resonant, more full, more loud really, really amazing. So that's really nice. I would say that the Hill Rosin is probably really good for actually just really fully engaging the string and getting it to be big and getting it to be warm and getting it to be very, very resonant. You know, the thing about this instrument is that it's uh, it's an amp. It's an amplifier. The, the core of the instrument is just the strings, but the energy from the strings gets carried into the body by the bridge. And then once it's in the body, it's, it's moving around inside. It would be significantly quieter without the body. That's why we have the body to begin with. So this is already like an amplified instrument. And if you're able to improve the resonance of the instrument in any way, it's going to be louder. It's going to be more amplified. So really nice. I really do actually really like this rosin. And I would also recommend it. You can find it uh, via a link in Amazon below. Uh, again, I just recommend trying a couple rosins. If you got like 40 bucks to invest, get like two or three of the ones that we've recommended and try them out for yourself. Find which ones are working in different situations and um, they last for a while. You'll probably break it before it goes bad, but it is nice to have fresh rosin every like year or two. Like by two years, it's not quite going to be uh, working for you as well. And in any case, they get worn in different ways and you really want as flat of a surface as possible 
That's why the cake rosin is better than the ones that have the runners on the side because the ones with the runners on the side, you're gonna just wear it down in exactly the same way to the point where eventually you're only rosining the sides of the bow and not the bottom. Whereas with the cake rosin, you can move it around in a circle. You're wearing it down evenly. It's just much more professional and much better in the end. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let us know what you think or what you'd like to see. Once again, my name is Justin Leopard, and we'll see you in the next video.